American uh, civilians. This is just for protection. We're looking for a doctor. Does anybody speak English? L'Américain, mais vous devez me badiner. Vous êtes français. Oui, but I speak English. Oh, good, good. Uh, I, I'm Ryan. I'm Julian. Luke. Is this, are you with the Red Cross? Is... No, we are independent. I, I mean, I stay behind with some others when the Red Cross pulls out. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get this woman over the border. Is there anybody here that can help me? I'm sorry, I cannot leave the wounded for one healthy person. Of course not. Excusez-moi. Oh. Ryan, listen, will you just stop it? I'm here, so you just better get used to it. I should have turned that plane around. I should have made that no. plane turn around. No, I was not going back. Okay, I'm here because I want to be here. Well, that's not what I want, Jillian. You're going back and you don't... Don't you dare fight me on this. Oh, what? Why are you even arguing with me? Because we've been dodging bullets together and there's no way that I'm going back. I can't back. get Jake out of here and worry about you Why at the same time. Even, even if I wanted to go home, there's no way I can get out of here. Princess, you don't want to die here, do you? I'm not planning on letting either one of us die. Oh. Closer. Yes. Yes, it was. They're trying to pinpoint this location. It's only a matter of time before they hit it. We have to get Jake. Jillian, will you just Why, listen, listen to me? You argue with me, okay? Once we find Jake, we can tell him the truth, and then we'll finally be free. Look! Celui-ci est mal en plan. Oh, oh, man. I should help him. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Where are you going? I've seen so many bodies since we've been here. Maybe I can help him. Tell me what to do. Uh, put your hand like this. Okay. There's one doctor left. I go look for him. Ryan, he's in shock. Get a blanket. You're right, Julian. You're right, you're right, you're right. There's, there's no turning back. We're in this together from now on. Doctor, he is coming. Thank you What's for your right? help. Well, the doctor has saved many I thought were lost. You know, when I snuck in that plane, I, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I, I had no idea what Jake was doing here. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I caused you more trouble. I'm just grateful that we're both okay. I mean that, Julie. Well, being here, seeing all these people just to struggle to be alive. Makes you realize how precious life is. I don't want us to waste any more time. We're not going to. Princess, we're going to find Jake. We're going to tell him the truth, and then we're going to get out. the happy ending we've been dreaming about. We're gonna make it happy. Okay. As long as I get you in the end. Doctor, he's here. Okay, let's take him up, normal sailing. Pete, Pete. We're running low on sailing. I'll go out back, see if we uh, could find some more. Yeah, a lot of shrapnel. Flaps along, but he's gonna be all right. Okay. Good answer, buddy. I got a wounded man here. Just to hang on. I can take over. Jeez, you two. What's, what's going on? What's the word? Well, we just came here to, um... What? What do you mean? Meaning what? We? Who's we? Uh, well, Adrian, too. He kind of he got us here. Adrian's back? 
Yeah, we didn't expect to find you in this building. We came to take you home, Jake. Yeah, home. At least I've got one. I've got 16 orphan kids here who can't see that they're that lucky. Well, we brought supplies, and, and hopefully Adrian's working on a chopper to, to evacuate all of you. You guys the cavalry or what? Jake, this one needs you now. Okay, all right, I'll be right there. Just anybody. buddy. Just let him know what possessed you two to come all this way. I'm damn glad you're here. What's going on here? I'll be all right. Okay, can you give me some sterile pads and uh, gauze out of my bag? Thank you. Thanks. You know, everybody misses you at home. We've all been so worried. Joe and Ruth and Tad and Dixie. I mean, we all knew this was a terrible situation, but this is, this is just beyond anything we've ever imagined. Well, I was on my way to help at a children's hospital north of here when it was bombed. And there were uh, 16 survivors, all kids. I treated them as far as I could, and we've got them here, and now we're trying to get them to a hospital. Yeah, Adrian had a connection that told us that much. Yeah, he thought you were closer to the Oregon River, so he's probably over there. Well, we left there when we heard the rest cross was coming over here, but when we got here, they, they had already left by the time we showed up, so. Listen, uh, this guy's ready to move here. Yeah, thank you. I, I figure that Adrian, when he realizes that you're not headed down there, he'll probably start heading back up this way. Well, is he uh, making arrangements for a chopper to take all my kids? That was the plan, yeah. That sounds good. Well, I uh, better prep my children then. Um, listen, I, I don't know what made you two come all this way, but I can't thank you enough. No way I can tell him that, Ryan. No, not yet. Not yet. Listen, why don't we just concentrate on getting everybody out of here, okay? Julian? Ryan? This is Paulina. She's uh, learning some English, right? Hi. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Remember what we do when we're scared? Right? We sing a little song that makes all the scariness go away, right? That's right. Itsy bitsy spider. The spider's back. Down came the rain. Then washed the spider out. Out came the sun. And dried up all the rain. And itsy bitsy spider. Put out the spell again.
some weird way. Feels like you're taking care of Colby. How is she? Have you seen her at all? Yeah. She's amazing, Jake. She's she's so beautiful and she's she's getting bigger and she's saying more words. He'll see. And she's safe. Hey, I was wondering I was going to see you. Yeah, you look good, considering. Me too. Okay, Adrian. I got a lot of work from kids. I got to get out. Yeah, I know. Are they ready? Give me the word. I have them ready for you. All right, listen, there's, uh, there's something you should know. What? This is not a foolproof escape. I don't know how many of us are going to make it out of here alive. No, no, her name's just then. What's up? All right. There's reports of sniper fire all along our escape route. If that's not enough, my people are now telling us there's a bombing raid scheduled for this area tonight. So I think we should make our move as soon as we can. But there are no guarantees that when we're ready, that we're going to make it out of here. Well, if we stay, our chances are worse. Yeah. And if we go, the people aren't protecting here, their lives are in danger. Listen, Jake. Yeah. There are calculated risks with these types of ops. All right, this just happens to be one of them. Can you have everyone mobilized and ready to go as soon as I give word? Yeah, yeah, I, I, let's just do this, all right? Uh, I'm gonna get Paulina, get her back over to the others, get her back around. Okay. Uh, listen, thank you. All of you, thank you. You guys didn't, you didn't tell them yet, did you? Hopefully you didn't tell him that the reason why you're here is to break up with him. That's not the reason why I came here, Adrian. I came here because I want to take Jake back home. Yeah, let's not do this now, okay? Listen, I need you to... Can, can you look out this window and keep an eye out for the chopper? Yeah, I can do that. All right. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna go check the perimeter. Jillian, until we get out of here, until we get home, everything is put on hold. I love you so much, Ryan. I love you too, princess. I just want to get you home. All right, this is it. I just talked to the pilot. He says we move those kids now or he's taking off without them. Okay, Julian, it's gonna be okay, all right? Let's go. Bye.
just unconscious. He's just unconscious. That's a good thing. Listen. That bullet tore a hole in his back. This way he feels no pain. hero. Julian, I'm doing this out of pure survival. If Jake chooses to stay in Chechnya, he may not make it out of there alive. And if he doesn't make it, then we're not going to make it. Do you understand? The guilt would kill us. Could you picture yourself being at Jake's funeral? Standing beside Joe and Ruth, could you handle knowing that you didn't do everything humanly possible to save their son? premonition of you and I never being together would come true because the ghost of Jake would stand between us our dad takes you boys you're great I miss you mom and dad you know Ruth just received an award at the hospital and everybody was there and big dinner. Joe was so proud of her. Colby. She learned to swim this summer. 
Liza took her to a mommy and me class, and now she just swims like a little tadpole. So when you get back, you can take her to Miller's Pond. And she can go wading. And, you know, she, she catches little minnows with her hands, and then she looks at her reflection in the water. When she kisses it, it goes away, and she just laughs, and she says, Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye, baby.